This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. And this is question number 26 on this version. Students in a third grade class collected bottles and won at pizza party. The school principal will use this information to find the number of pizzas that should be ordered. There are 20 students in the third grade class. So I'm going to highlight anything I think are important. The three is there as a number, but it doesn't actually mean anything. It's just a label, so no worries. Each student will get two slices of pizza. Each pizza has eight slices. So how many whole pizzas should the principal order? And we're going to solve this in a variety of ways. The first thing we need to do is figure out how much pizza we need. Because without that, what are you going to do, right? So if I am working with 20 students and each student gets two, I could do two plus two plus two until I get to 20. Or because, I mean, why wouldn't you? You could just multiply. And oh, looky here, this is a calculator allowed section. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the perfect time to use a calculator, so I'm bringing mine up. Because I don't want to be wrong, basically. 20 times 2, because I have 20 groups of 2, right? So 40 total pieces of pizza. Or slices. Now you'll notice that I wrote out a reasonable amount there. It seems like what would be the point of that? Well, the reason is because I get distracted by every single thing on Earth. So I wanted to make sure that I, when I zone out here a second later, I remember what the 40 actually means in the context of the problem. It makes it much easier if I have a problem focusing, if I'm able to come back from it. So now we can say, all right, I have eight slices of pizza per pizza, so I need to figure out if I need to break the 40 into eight slices. So think about the operation. I'm dividing it into groups. So I have 40 slices I need. There's eight slice per pizza. So I do 40 divided by eight, which is of course five slices of pizza. And if you wanted to use a calculator for that, you absolutely can. It's not that complicated. You would just do 40 and divide by 8. Or something you might try if you kind of are a little confused is just when you get to that 40. Let me see if I can erase this. Now, let me be real. Don't judge me on this next part because it's not going to look great. This one takes a little bit of time. It just kind of depends on how much time you have near the end of your test. To break it into eight slices, you just kind of make a plus and then draw an X. I'm going to guess the answer is four. Obviously, I know it's not four, but... Pretend with me, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So obviously I'm going to need more pizza. And to save time, I'm going to draw the circle. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. So I have one, two, three, four, five pizzas. That's where that number comes from. So even if you can't remember the division part, or even that you would divide. If you just draw the pizzas out, and once you get the number of total slices, if you just start drawing the pizzas out and make it look nice enough to where you can count them, and you don't, and you have a strategy for counting, you'll notice that I made a dot for each time I counted, and then when I finished the pizza, I wrote the number of slices that I was at on top. So I was at 8, and then I got 16, and then I went to 24, and then I went to 32, that sort of thing. 
Um, so I had a strategy for it. But if I didn't know division or I didn't know to do it, I could still draw a picture and still get to the right answer and have a little bit of fun drawing pizzas, which is kind of a thing to do to pass some time and get your brain off the fact that you're taking a statewide exam, which can be a bit stressful.